Philosophy for Children Third Lesson Knowledge on the Table of Life In the definition of life, titled Philosophical Contemplation, I read that every life form that can sense its environment has its own relative reality. And in the Life is a Big Table, titled Continuation, I've read that life is like a big table, what we get things from and what we put things on. That part of the table which is in front of me, that is my own relative reality. What I get from it, that is what life gives to me. If I was born as a blind, that is also given by life. We have a view of each other's relative reality, but we don't know it completely, only have a view. Having a view is not knowing. Don't think that just because I see that the man standing by me is blind, I surely know how his life is. If someone travels to a distant land where he likes something and he makes a video that I watch, don't think that I came to know how good the life is there. And if another man travels to that land where he dislikes something and he makes a video that I watch, don't think that I came to know how bad the life is there. These all just let me have a little view of other people's relative reality for a moment. It doesn't mean that I know the lies. I wasn't there. I haven't seen it. It wasn't happened to me. If I learn as a child in school on science class that the rock on the planet Mars is red. Don't think that I came to know what colored the rock on the planet Mars is. It doesn't exclude the possibility that the rock on the planet Mars is red. Maybe it is red, maybe not. I haven't seen the rock. It is not in my relative reality. It is not on the table in front of me and I didn't come to know my real environment. My teacher didn't take me to a field trip on Mars. On the table in front of me there is that I have to go to school and I have to learn all kinds of subjects and on science class I have to cram that the rock on the planet Mars is red colored.
If there is a photo on the rock in the science book, then I have seen the color of the photo, not the color of the rock. The photo is what is in my relative reality, not the rock. If I learn on history class about the life of people 500 years ago, don't think that I came to know how their lives were, how they evaluated their relative realities, I don't know. I've just had a little view of their lives, but it doesn't mean that I know it. These all things are like when I cram as a blind that the color of the sky is sky blue. I was born as a blind. The color of the sky is not in my relative reality. I just deceive myself that I know. This information doesn't even help me to experience or to understand my life. Can it even be possible that I crammed wrongly? The color of the sky may be sky blue, maybe red or green. I don't know. Or like 500 years ago, when I crammed that earth is flat. And all people near me crammed obediently that earth is flat. Okay, not all people, but who didn't? That were the fools. And nowadays our attitude is same. We tend to cram and insist on informations and knowledge by the skin of our teeth in the same way. When I am blind, why I tend to cram that the color of the sky is sky blue? Perhaps I am not satisfied with my own relative reality. I realize that I am blind and it bothers me. Or perhaps I think that if I cram this information, I will be more clever. If it is indeed not a real knowledge, but I got used to cram informations, then I have to be strong to face the unreality of these informations. This facing can scare me. Until now, I have flattered myself that I've known the color of the sky, and now I have to face that in fact I don't know. If I have been diligent, I have crammed a lot of information. The sky is sky blue, the grass is green, the butterflies are colorful, etc. I have crammed them, although I have never seen them. But now it scares me that I have to face that everything, what I believe that I know, 
In fact, I don't know. Plus, I wasted my time for nothing. It was only exercise utility. By cramming informations, I will never understand my reality. I have to be strong to face this simple little philosophical thought. Behold the theory of knowledge on the table of life.